What's up outdoorsman Greg here and today I'm showing you how I converted my truck bed into a mobile hunting rig. If you watch my walkthrough video you know that I needed this thing to be simple and so I basically built it in five pieces. A couple of runners and then the plywood section on top which was actually cut into three pieces and then my drawer. It's really, really, really simple. This is the material list that, that you're gonna need. A couple of two by fours, a couple of sheets of plywood, and then some hardware to go along with it. Those flag hinges that you see at the bottom of the list, I got those on Amazon. Everything else came straight from Home Depot. Now, if you didn't, if you, if you already have wood, you could save yourself some money there. And we'll talk about the cost uh, at the end. These are the threaded inserts that I got along with the stainless steel bolts and the washers uh, and then uh, the wood. I went with the expensive sanded plywood because I knew that I was going to be sleeping on this and I didn't want any splinters or anything like that. If you buy it at Home Depot or Lowe's, they'll actually cut the wood right there for you as long as you have the measurements if you don't have a table saw. Save me a bunch of time. I had an old kayak cart in the back of uh, or in my garage so I took that apart for my 2x4s. For the cut list, you're going to need five 2x4s cut at 8 inches, and then you're going to need a couple of runners, one shorter than the other, but this all depends on your bed. So my truck bed is 67 inches long, so I made my plywood topper to fit into three separate sections. Now I wanted that middle section separate so it could hinge up and I could store stuff underneath. Here I'm just cutting the uh, 2x4s to length that uh, for my... For my supports for the runners, I just needed five of those. Cut them on a miter saw. You could use a hacksaw or anything like that. It was just faster with power tools. You always want to test. You cut and test, and uh, you know what do they say? Measure twice, cut once. So do that. I, I basically went back and forth several times to the truck bed with the different pieces and, and measured everything. Now I'm cutting my two by four runners to mount that on top, and again. I'm uh, just going to go ahead and set it in there and test. I wanted that to fit right over, basically sit on top of the wheel well so I could have maximum headroom underneath the camper. I'm just testing it again, obviously, closing the tailgate, make sure everything shuts. You don't want to do that at the end of the project. And then this, these are the bins that are going to live underneath on my storage shelf. So I was just double checking, make sure everything fits. Test, 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 and test again. Uh, made a little jig out of a piece of cardboard to make sure that all of my holes were drilled and centered in the exact same spot. And this is super simple. I just cut a piece of cardboard off of a, a box I had laying in the garage and basically traced around a two by four, uh, cut out the little jig and then drilled those two black holes out. So that way all of my holes were in the exact same spot on every piece of material, both the supports and the runners. Pretty simple to do. It'll save you a little bit of time. Go ahead and drill all those out and basically just drilling the drilling all of the holes and then attaching and making those runners here and now I had to notch out uh, two sections of the plywood topper and I did that with a jigsaw. No special measurements here. I just kind of eyeballed everything. It doesn't have to fit perfectly, but you can see it's pretty easy to do. I also had to notch out the back section that goes up against the the cab side and again really simple to do I used a jigsaw for that now I'm measuring out the rope for my shelf uh, you can see the black rope that I used and I just drilled a couple of holes in that piece of plywood and then I'm just gonna tie a couple simple knots I sanded everything just because I'm gonna be interacting with this piece of wood quite quite a lot so I wanted to make sure there was no splinters or sharp edges or anything like that so I gave it a quick sand with the orbital sander you could use sandpaper that would work fine it's really fast tie a couple of knots in the end of your rope and uh, you are good to go cut off the excess and burn the edges that part of the project is done This is how it works. It was pretty nice that it actually, the ropes just stored over the knot like that. That was a happy accident. Now I'm drilling the holes for my threaded inserts. I put four holes each in the front section of plywood and in the back section of plywood. I left the center section 
without the threaded inserts because I was going, I'm going to attach flag hinges to those, which I'll show you here in a little bit. But this is a really, really simple process. You just drill the appropriate size hole in the runner and then you use an Allen key to put in those threaded inserts and they sit flush with your runner. And now I can bolt my plywood directly in there and not have to worry about running screws every single time. You can see the four holes that match up with the plywood, set that on top, screw in your bolts into your threaded inserts, and now it is super, super strong. And essentially, I'll just repeat that process again on the opposite side of the bed, this, the end back towards the cab. And here you can see I'm just doing the same exact process, running those threaded inserts, bolting everything down, and uh, makes it one solid strong piece. The initial walk test just to make sure everything is strong and uh, everything works. Now let's talk about the cut list here. This is what I did for the plywood. I cut them in sections and I can see the red. That's where I put those hinges. Now that's the hinge that I used. I wanted that hinge because you can separate it. So that's going to be important for me tearing this stuff down and storing it in my garage. I can see I mounted the hinges to the back of that center piece and now it just hinges up. I'm attaching a little support for whenever I open that particular section uh, so the support will come out and basically just you know keep the wood up uh, so I can access my bins underneath. Pretty useful for cost. You can see the number 144 bucks if you went out and just bought everything. That's uh, not a whole lot of money for having such a useful piece of gear. Now, I had some stuff. Uh, I wanted the expensive plywood, so I went ahead and did that, but my cost was about 120 bucks. Now, if you had everything, all the wood, you would only have to spend about 30 bucks on this thing. So, not a very expensive process. And that's pretty much it. That's the whole process. It's really, really simple. Anyone can do it and you can have this thing done in a day, really. And it's very, very useful. Hopefully that helped. Hopefully you guys learned something. Go outside and enjoy it.